The team at Victory Sports and Medicine and Orthopedics have introduced a new treatment for those with an ACL tear. It's called Bridge Enhanced ACL Repair, or BEAR. We're joined this morning by Dr. Mark Petropoli, Director of Physical Therapy, Carl Calabrese, and patient of this BEAR procedure, Katie Shea, all here to tell us more this morning. Thank you all so much for waking up with us. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks for having us, Dan. So, Doc, first and foremost, why are we seeing an increase in ACL tears? Well, we're, we're seeing an epidemic of ACL tears, younger and younger patients, more common uh, in younger female athletes, unfortunately, five to time, 10 times more common in females than males. Um, a lot of it is the, um, there are a lot more um, people participating in sports at a younger age, specializing in one sport as opposed to the three sport athlete. So ah. that kind of puts more stress on the body. There's a whole bunch of reasons for that. And actually there are ACL injury prevention programs which can cut the risk by 50 to 75 percent. So that's a whole other show at some point. But yeah. we're here <laughs> to talk obviously about the bare procedure. And so ACL stands for anterior cruciate ligament. That's the main stabilizing ligament in the knee that helps prevent the knee from giving out when an athlete's cutting and pivoting. So, and yes. And unlike, unlike the traditional ACL repair work, the, that, that takes muscle from a different part of the body and replaces it, puts it back in, correct? Right, we have to take a graft from a different part of the body, a tendon usually, either the patellar tendon, the kneecap tendon, the quad tendon, hamstring tendon, or you can take a donated um, tendon uh, from um, uh, an, an allograft, which is a donated piece of tendon. But those don't tend to, the, the allograft tends to stretch out, it's not quite as good. Using your own tissue is the gold standard. Um, and the ACL, when it tears, is kind of like a rope. It'll shred, Those the knee has fluid inside of it, and the ends never meld mm. back together again. Also, normally when something tears, a ligament tears, um, it forms a little blood clot in between it, and oh. that blood clot acts like a bridge for the ligament cells to grow across and heal it. In the knee, that doesn't happen because there's fluid in there. The knee secretes enzymes that dissolve that clot so it never heals. So there's an innovative procedure that Dr. Martha Murray at Boston Children's came up with where we actually use an implant. It's kind of like a bridge. Uh, it's made out of actually bovine type 1 collagen, which is basically cow um, tissue that they purify, and it acts like a scaffold. So it acts like a sponge. We hydrate it with the patient's own blood, and it soaks it up. And then instead of the body dissolving it within a few days, it takes eight weeks to dissolve. So we sew it in between the two torn ends of the ligament, and now that ligament can grow across there and, so and heal itself. This is far less invasive than the traditional ACL repair. Katie, you're nodding along as the doctor's yeah. talking. I, I feel like you've heard this before because yeah. you've had the procedure done. He is very good at creating relationships with his patients and explaining exactly what he's going to be doing in the procedure, and I feel like that's just a great thing to have from a doctor. Well, it certainly, it, it, well, it's, it certainly is, and especially if it, if it can be done uh, with minimal downtime after the work. But the downtime, I have to imagine, is spent with you, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, so Katie's predominantly working with one of our great therapists, Dr. Zach Kaplan. Um, so it compared to a traditional reconstruction, it's a little slower to start because you literally have to regrow your own tissue, which for anyone that's done this for long enough, that's mind-blowing to even say or think about. Sure. Um, on the back end, you don't have the soreness, soreness from the graft site, from the quad, the patella, or the hamstring. So they tend to catch up, and the end result of getting Katie back to her sport is the same as if she had a reconstruction versus the bear but she's not going to have the long-term kneeling pain or the long-term soreness where they took that graft from, which is not uncommon with a traditional ACL reconstruction. So. Uh, so, Katie, what has all of this been like for you? So, it was really hard because soccer is my main sport, and doing a sport for me, I'm very passionate about sports, so it was hard having that taken away, but having this happen gave me the opportunity to figure out what I want to do mm -hmm. in my career, and I want to be exactly like Doc and work with him and figure out how to do that in my future career. Oh, that's fantastic. I mean, you're recruiting patients <laughs> now. This is, this is pretty incredible. What, what was the downtime like for you? How long before you were you're, you know, back up and moving and back to where you want to be? So it's about really about being patient and trusting Doc and all the physical therapists you work with in their decisions and making sure you follow the directions because if you don't, then it's not good for you. 
I, I mean, that, that is key. Follow, yeah. follow the instructions, take the medical advice, and listen to what the doctor says and actually follow those guidelines, follow that instruction. Mm -hmm. That's the best way for recovery for most things. Yeah. Doc, if somebody wants to learn more about this, where do they go? What do they do? Uh, you can go to our website, victorysportsmedicine.com, uh, victorysurgeon.com. We have a lot of social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, um, TikTok. Uh, and there's a lot of uh, good information on that. I just want to say that A, Katie is a great patient, as you can see. Yeah. Um, and compliance really is huge, especially in having great therapy. So it's a team effort. Um, but I think the biggest thing with this surgery is there is a chance that it's going to lessen the risk of arthritis down the road. And right now, we know if someone tears their ACL, oh, wow. they have a 50% chance of getting arthritis within four to five years. If someone tears their ACL and they undergo an ACL reconstruction, they still have a 50% chance of getting arthritis, but it's pushed out to maybe 12 to 15 years. With this procedure, it's looking like the early preliminary results are that it's going to be a lot less likely to get that arthritis in there. And that, to me, is the holy grail of this whole thing. Uh, uh, what, what is responsible for that? What, what? Yeah, that's a great question. So by preserving the native ACL and the attachment points and not drilling through them when we do a reconstruction and take another piece of tissue from somewhere else, we're preserving her nerves, her blood vessels, especially oh. the nerves called the proprioceptive nerves, and they tell the brain where the knee is in space. And so we think that when we do an ACL reconstruction, we restore the stability very good, but we don't restore that proprioception, those nerves. And so the other knee is being relied on. You're actually just as likely to tear your other knee as you are the ACL reconstructed knee. Because some of these fail, even when the sure. bears can fail. You can go back to sports and re-injure it. Odell Beckham Jr., for instance. Mm -hmm. But if you, hopefully you don't do this, but if you tear your bear, you can still undergo an ACL reconstruction. If you undergo an ACL reconstruction and you're one of the 10 to 15% of people who tears that, then you have to undergo a revision and revisions don't work as well. There's more complications. Um, again, like Odell Beckham Jr., he, didn't, he hasn't gotten back yet from his second tear. Well, um, we don't want that to happen to no, you. So follow the instructions, <laughs> follow the advice, and keep up the great work, all of you. Thank you. This is, this is you. pretty incredible. Thank you all so much for Thank coming you. in. We're going to post all of this information on our website, foxrochester.com, after the show this morning, 748. We're back after this.